So today I just want to talk about these adapters you see for sale on Facebook Marketplace and eBay and places like this and just give my opinion on it. Um, these are using the 18 volt or 21 volt max actually lithium ion battery packs to use for like an emergency jump start. And like I say, you can see these on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and you see more and more of these becoming popular and they're anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks. So you know, it makes sense to be able to use your battery for a jump start. And I do love thrifty things and thinking outside of the box and just use things in a way that can be handy for us when we need them. I have several videos like here, for example, working on a family member's jump start, uh, replacing the battery in it because it's cheaper to do it. Um, it was in decent shape, just needed a new pack. So I took time to do it. Um, did show it charging up fine using a 3S pack. Now 3S mean three cells in series or a little over 12 volts because it's 4.2 volts max per cell. As you can see here, this is just an example of a 5.2 amp hour 3S LiPo pack. And these things are really handy for the money. Um, I use one similar to this to repair an older jump start that I have and it's still working good. That one in particular had the air compressor and the light and all built in. So I definitely wanted to put a 12 volt battery in it to to keep it uh, functional and just keep it out of the landfill, you know, and just give it a, another life. But um, something like this will work also just putting the um, the alligator clips on it for a battery jump start. You can't let them touch together, obviously, with any as with any jump start. But this is a little small section of the video where I, I put a very similar battery pack in to this old Black & Decker jump start with the light and the air compressor. And as mentioned, it's still working good. But again, 3S pack, 12.5, um, 12.6 volts fully charged. As compared to a 5S pack, like the Milwaukee or DeWalt batteries. And we're talking about 21 volts max. Now, I just don't think it's a very good idea for our cars to put the 21 volts across the battery, the alternator, and all the electronics modules on vehicles these days. I just think you're taking a high risk if you put 21 volts across the car, and I personally just would not do it, especially when it's so easy to buy something that's a 3S or maybe even a 4S pack, like this, for example, is a 4S pack and 14.8 volts nominal, so we're talking 14.2 times 4. You're talking about 16.8 volts max, so I wouldn't even charge them up to full charge and use them on a car either. But you're still talking about 4.2 volts less than putting a drill battery on it. Just wanted to do a quick video giving my opinion on these because I see so many and it shows so many purchases on these. And um, feel free to comment below your feelings and your experiences with them. I know people have used them, don't get me wrong. I understand that. And... Just wanted to give a warning about using them because I believe it's a bad idea, especially when something like this I'll do jumpstart can be had for less than a hundred bucks. And it's, it's just a known good jumpstart that does an excellent job and it'll hold up for a long time in your car, even though no battery's going to hold up in the cold and heat a lot being fully charged, just sitting there ready to go. But they're really worth their weight in gold to buy them every few years. And just have them in your car when you need them. So whether you decide to buy a 4S battery and make your own little jump start, repair one, or buy something like this, I'll do. I just think it's a much better idea than trying to use a 21 volt system on your car. And not only can it mess up your actual high dollar batteries by putting that much load across it and the alternator putting out back across it. I think it can even do more irreversible damage to a car the alternator and electronic system. So I hope you found this video informational and hopefully even helpful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to have a link down in the video description of some of these items I shared in case you just want to look at them yourself. Any link you click on is an affiliate link and it helps support the channel and I greatly appreciate it. So I want to wish you all out there as fathers a happy Father's Day. Thanks for watching and God bless.